Well, good late evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on December 1st, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and welcome to the beginning of December. Now, I don't know if all of your skies are looking like mine recently, but Agenda 2030 is in full effect right now. And I'm going to be sharing a video here really soon. The 17 Steps to Sustainable Living. Designed by the United Nations Agenda 2030. Developed in 2015 when they noticed that the great changes happening to our planet and our solar system. And they are doing their best to control the weather. We have never seen skies like this before. People are reporting it all across the world. Thank you for joining me today. This is Daily Events Worldwide, where I talk about weather, space weather, and earthquakes from around the world and disaster alerts as they happen. Here we are looking at the sun. And we, last night on the live stream, if anybody was there watching with me, we caught a very large filament eruption from the sun. A very large plasma filament eruption coming out of the south side of the sun you can clearly see it, that large mass, but not only did it erupt in a very fast fashion, but it sent a tsunami wave across the sun. And I'm going to show you here under a different light. I just want to show you that eruption that's heading our way. It was an earth facing plasma filament eruption. And here we are looking at it in a different light. You can see everything start to move from south to north right across the sun. So that was a very powerful rip from our sun. Something is eating the life of our sun right now. I've documented in my last few videos. Sunspot recordings are down tremendously. I don't think they've ever been recorded this low. Thank you for watching today. I really appreciate all of my new subscribers and welcome to Morning Dew, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. As I pay attention to weather, space weather, and geological events. So this is the last seven days visible image over the United States and Canada. And we had a butt ton of tornadoes that spawned up yesterday throughout the United States. There were six states under tornado alerts and warnings. All across the southeastern United States right now, there are flood alerts, tornado warnings, winter storm warnings. They are dealing with Mother Nature's fury right now as everything is trying to shift into a winter solstice, which we are only 20 days away. December 21st will be the beginning of winter. But yet, when I look at the five day forecast from Meteor Earth, you kind of look like, wow, it uh, looks like winter already. These are all very cold temperatures heading down throughout Alberta and Canada right now. High pressure polar vortex. Totally gobbling up any kind of moisture. We were supposed to get 10 centimeters of snow overnight and it looks like we may get five now as that high pressure ridge built but there is another low pressure system coming off the pacific there towards california gonna bring some more rain and snow pacific ocean still continuously week after week day after day large low pressure system getting caught in the aleutian islands right in the area where i think our new north pole is look at those tight iso Isobars, that is very high winds when you see close isobars like that. But some very large storms coming off of Russia and China recently. Watch them for them to affect North America in the coming week. But also watch for very cold temperatures to affect Russia as some places will be seeing up to minus 43 degrees Celsius.
that's probably well that is without the wind chill so you can probably with the winds you can add another 10 to 15 degrees celsius feeling like minus 55 minus 60. parts of europe cooling trends still but not as bad as north america but they are going to be getting some wicked storms here towards parts of northeastern europe and into western russia as that high pressure and low pressure ridge collide we'll be producing some pretty large thunderstorms and snow events United States cold high pressure ridge reaching right down to Springtown home of Miss J but yeah everybody please stay aware and prepared because after that storm goes by it's gonna get cold the great Canadian north winds prevailing winter is moving in across the southern hemisphere still watching same place here where I think our new south pole is large low pressure system just seems to hang out there day after day gathering strength gathering other low pressure systems indeed everything has changed watching towards parts of northeastern Australia as well possibly some relief to all the fires in the dry conditions we do have a tropical depression forming and heading towards northeastern Australia later in the week we should find out what her name will be but let's look at the earthquakes for the last 24 hours <clears throat> and most of the action has been in Alaska Look at all these earthquakes, you can barely keep them on the map. Small at best, but still, most of the action has been there. Largest earthquake in the last 24 hours was over in South America. 5.5 San Antonio, Chile, 77 kilometers. That was at a 10 kilometer depth. We did have some more rumbling in Puerto Rico and the Caribbean. Fiji Islands ringing off a 480 kilometer depth, 4.7. Also, Tugu, Indonesia, and also Sibolga, Indonesia, 4 points. And another 240 kilometer depth, 4.2 in Japan. So please stay aware and prepared, folks. I do believe that we are going to have another large seismic event, possibly like this event right here in Alaska. And I think it's going to happen in the same place. So please, all of my friends and family in North America and the world, stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Much love. God bless humanity. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world